Alright guys, it's Incredibly Damon. Welcome back to the quarry. Oh, I wish I didn't move uh, Dylan over here. I had him looking directly at us. Is his name Dylan? Damn, I already forgot. Guys, I have a little more energy tonight. Uh, the last two videos I was really tired, but uh, I'm alert. And you know why I need to be alert? Because bodies are gonna drop. I'm telling you, this is the episode. Bodies are going to drop. We last found out that, hey, he's got like the same microphone as me. It's gotta be it. Check this out. Yeah, last time we found out that uh, Mr. H has a secret room. And he's been like spying on us. You know, I I guess he's like... What was that? What was what? That's the killer. Those are the Outlast guys. It's probably nothing. What the fuck is... Okay. So I'm gonna dial back, right? I'm gonna ask you guys again. How am I going to protect these stupid ass kids that was clearly someone you don't know go back to examining this damn he's got the boom arm and everything I, I like his gaming setup that's not a tarot card right okay these are boring But anyway, I, I regret not going in that guy's basement. Because there could have been a tarot card down there. Those aren't the cards I'm looking for, oh. though. These are letters, not tarot cards. Wait. Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Max Brinkley. Wait. Max is the guy who died in the beginning, right? He got snatched by, um, Quasimodo? What is this, Max Brinkley and Lauren? That's their mail. Why is he holding on to it? I don't know. I have a feeling he should turn that into the police. I'm going to lock this corrupt counselor up, guys. We got this. Now I need that gun. I don't care if What's-His-Face screams at me when I try and take it. Old house. This looks like... Looks like Jason's kill map. See all the X's? That's where he got all the bodies. That's where he hid them all. That, hey, that is a nice-ass picture. I can't read what that note says. Is it just me? Or is, like, does anyone else have trouble reading cursive sometimes? I feel like some people just kind of scribble on you. Like, you know, when they give a signature to sign off on something. Contract-wise or anything otherwise, I, I feel like some people just really just scribble. They don't even try. We got 32% and 28%. That is damn well not enough to have a party with fireworks and stay out all night in the woods. Outlast hunters. Wait, what was the room I didn't go in? Guys, this move, this game is so cinematic. Sometimes I think a cutscene's starting, and it's actually still me. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Yeah, there's nothing fun. I mean, nothing fun. Is this guy a druggie? I swear this is Steve from Stranger Things. I need those bandages. I wish he would take them. Let's leave that. Guys, I can't remember the last time we got a surprise jump scare. Am I overdue? I don't want to pay my jump scare, ta uh, jump scare tax just yet. Wait, what? How, how did I end out, out here? No, I want to go this way. There's bound to be a tarot card in here. I don't care about that guitar. He, he has a tarot card in there. Check his drawers. He stole grandma's cards. This over here. There's literally nothing. Is she gonna pick up the phone again? What was that? God, he scared the hell out of me just standing there. No, but what was that was very indicative of something. You guys hear that? Like it was supposed to mean something. 
Grandma, I'm sorry. Guys, I, I gotta... And if we see Grandma again, I'm gonna have to apologize. I, I really am trying my hardest here, and I'm not seeing these tarot cards. Either they're hidden really, really well, or I'm not, like, initiating events that I could be initiating to actually get to the tarot cards. Or I might have already missed it because I didn't go down in the creepy cellar. Nice. Full up. All right, let's head out. I've wasted enough time. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Hey, stop tossing your phones. You think they'd learn? I know I haven't dropped one yet. Thank but... you. Whew, this is it. Oh, this is it, guys. What's the time? 7.05. This would be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? He's an old yeah. English chap, yeah? They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. Uh... <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. This is sweet. Guys, this is sweet. This is the new Chris and Ashley right here. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? I've waited years to see something this nice. Chris and Ashley was like the power couple in Until Dawn. Shady Glade, Rocky Road. I mean, Shady Glade. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go this way. See, they're trying to psychologically trick me. They don't want me to pick the scary name place, but I'm going to pick the scary name place. Oh, stop. Oh, oh my God, are you okay? Oh, stop. I'll be okay. <laughs> Shake it off like a counselor. <laughs> Come on, I'll spot you. There we go. Uh, what is this? Oh my god. Copyright music again? Man, guys, I I still didn't turn off the music because I didn't think I had anything to worry about, but apparently we do, so now all you'll have is my voice, probably. Uh, no, no. I hope my humming will be a, a very well substitute for this song. It is beautiful, I give it that, but... I turned off... There's an option right in the menu, in the audio section, to turn off copyrighted music, and it still plays copyrighted music. Why, guys? Why does it do that? I don't understand. Maybe I should be asking the developers. But anyway, listen, whether you just have my voice or not, we're still going to find those tarot cards. I'm sorry. All we'll have to do is just be here in, in like, our site. Uh-oh. So, um, I heard this joke about artists. Heard a joke about artists. Pretty bad. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to hear it? Sure. Okay. Here it is. Why couldn't the world's fastest painter ever keep a girlfriend? Mm, why he was not? too wicked? Because he always finished in one stroke. It's dumb. Sorry, Jacob told me. Hey, at least he knows it was dumb. <laughs> Isn't that about golfers? Because of the stroke thing? Yeah, sorry. I don't know. <laughs> Jacob probably heard it from his campers. That makes so much sense. Those kids have filthy minds. <laughs> Whoa. Just a bit. It wasn't that just bad. A bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. I just it wasn't that little, bad. Come on. Just been a little edgy lately. <laughs> it's gonna take more than that, guys. I'm I'm ready tonight. You sure you don't worry? Curious why? I mean, I want to know why, because... Why? Why would she be jumpy? Does she know something about the incidents? But let's be reassuring, you know. Hey, don't worry about it. It's just the forest playing tricks on you. I used to go camping all the time with my dad, and you think you hear and see some pretty weird stuff, but... You just realize it's nature doing its thing. Like zombie circus freaks? Did you just say thing? No, that's... The forest up to its old tricks again. <laughs> I've never been camping. It's pretty nice if you open yourself up to it. So you have to be open-minded to enjoy camping? I want them to be close. No, I just mean there's a lot of stuff you have to overlook. Like basic comfort. 
You really just have to try it. I could take you some time. If you want. Ooh. Um, Ooh. maybe. Ooh. Let's just make it through tonight first. She has a point. Yeah. Tonight has been kind of freaky. But the way Chris, uh, Chris, whatever, whatever the camp counselor's name is, I hope I'm not miss, uh, hope I'm not misremembering it. I could have sworn it was Chris something, right? Mr. Hackett, is it? Is it? Yeah, he's Mr. H, Mr. Hackett. Okay, you have Jason Voorhees, your walk. Jason Voorhees, your walk. Guys, I can't hide it. Apparently, I am tired, right? Oh, my goodness. I swear, I'm never this illiterate when I'm, like, out and about in the world, huh? <laughs> you guys don't miss a thing. I'll be commenting about it. I know it. I read my comments. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. What was that? What the heck is that? You guys just hear that? Oh, not the music again. Is that a camera? That's what it is, a camera. Yeah. Maybe it's for the wildlife? A wildlife camera, yeah. that makes sense. Trail cam. Makes sense. There we go. Trail camera, hey, let's check it out. A trail camera hidden in the trees, a security measure perhaps? Or perhaps they're tracking something. Hmm. Hmm, yes, hmm. Sherlock, hmm, something, yes. Something, something dark side, maybe? Hmm. It's just that this area is so open, guys. There's probably a tarot card somewhere laying in the brush, and I'm gonna miss it. You know it's not on the trail. I saw that. Is that, is that one of what I think it is? Is this what I think it is? Guys, did we finally find one? I think it's a ranger box. Oh. Huh. Like a supply cache for rangers or whatever if they're out in the woods. Naked rangers? <laughs> so it would seem. What? <laughs> Listen, I'm not looking for any naked rangers, okay? I'm, I want tarot cards. You gotta understand, lady, my grandmother... My poor old grandmother needs to peer into the future to perceive your death. And only she can save us, and I can't... I can't find the tarot cards she needs to help save our lives, so... By proxy, it's really my fault. Is there really no cards out here? No tarot cards. No tarot cards. Don't see a single one. Not a single card. I wish it would give me, like, a... I don't know, a HUD or something to help me... This way is beautiful. Let's go this way. I'm still looking for these tarot cards. I think we're back near the path again. know where we are yeah up here here hold these sure she better not be lying no 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 whatever this is we don't have time this for this you is just wow uh, I know she's an art student but come on lady And then she's gonna keep him waiting too. Oh, Lord, sincere, you're really good at playful. Do me. I mean, both of those are really sweet. What does it matter? Be playful. Ooh. Do me. Oh, sorry. I'm I'm just trying to get this down. Gabby right. is trying to concentrate. Sorry. Ah, I ruined it. I just want to finish this. Take your time. I'm uh, sorry, champ. <laughs> I'm no Cupid. <laughs> Clearly, I'm gonna get fired by the gods of love. This is a beautiful scenery, though. Did you hear that? Huh? 
What's he mean? Ugh. It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Oh, it's a... It's a hog. Not even close. Oh, look! It's so tiny. Oh my god, he's so... Don't. Cute. Don't. Its mom is probably nearby and it's gonna whoop this in. Hold on. Hold on. Save Abby. Save her from what? Save her from what? I told you its parents are here. Don't breathe. Oh no. You're in danger. It's all right. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stand. It's all right. Breathing. We did this in Looking House of Wax, guys. We're taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger is past, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry. Oh my god! Consequences. That is a brutal cartoon! Okay, so what are the directions? A breath. Release when it's safe. Go away. Go away. Get the fuck out of here, man! Come on! Go! I, I was running out of time! Oh, oh, okay, I did it. I did it. Oh, she thinks that shit's funny. That was close. Let's be real, he wasn't going to die. He almost just mowed me to death. I was going to be all right, no matter what happens. <laughs> it's just training for when the killers are about to kill us. Pedantic. Uh, it's actually a bore. I mean, imagine. Uh, I'll try and help you out a little more. At least we gave her a good story to tell her pig husband. How do you know it was the mommy pig? Mm, I got a pretty good look. Ew. I think she was coming on to me. <laughs> Got yourself a little girlfriend. She wasn't that little. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Great recovery, dude. She's totally digging you. Much more than dude bro. Dude bro's not gonna be doing too good. Maybe, maybe I was a little too hard on dude bro before. He is kind of corny though, guys. You got, come on. I mean, he was dancing with those like peanut butter puffs in his hands and just. He stole the car part, and he's the reason Guess we might we die. Back. I mean, that I'm not going to forget. They're kind of sweet, guys. They're, they're kind of cute. You know? I'll help this along as I can, but I'm probably going to mess it up. My main concern is staying the hell alive. Okay, here's Velma. This is not the time for Instagram. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. That's the outlast shack. That's where the killers are. Uh-uh. Forget about that for a minute. You see any tarot cards? Grandma's counting on us. How do I zoom in? Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up. You know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check. Kids to protect. He'll probably just keep track of wildlife. 
You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? I thought he was going Still to no service. not come to the party. Ah, uh, yeah. So, pretty boring. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. Ah, there's that sense of humor. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. Ah. Oh. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Man, oh, that almost went over my There's head. There's already a big pile of logs here. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Mm. I mean, what does this really matter? How much? See, I'm wondering how much these choices actually weigh in on what happens to the party going forward. The hog of Hackett's quarry. I mean, Velma, what, what's her pro? What would she say, really? I mean, uh, yeah, the hog of Hackett's quarry. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Burn. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn, that fell flat. <laughs> oh, Ryan thinks you're making Special fun of Special delivery. Guys, everyone hates each other. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come dude, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and... We bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking no way. Freaking way, pop, mate. Pop, no, pop, stop! Pop, 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 oh. Your <laughs> oh no! I didn't even know you could still find stop. these. Stop! Anyway. Hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on, Emma. With an accent Please like that. Me a shotgun. Oh, what? You're gonna shoot me over them? No. You better, dumbass. Okay, we are going to. You better, Shay. He has a them. nice ass accent. No, nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Stern or mocking? Hmm. Hmm. Ooh, I kind of want to... I'm feeling a little stern. No leaving you with a gun. Fuck, not a great idea. No leaving you with a gun. Not with him. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on. Look, the shooting range is like right over there. Okay, it'll be fun. Okay, look. You and me. Old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Like, he's not even provocative. Just don't. Fine, you're on. Yeah, what the boy? fuck? Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about it. Okay, Thank you, Velma. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Shut up. Shut up. Let me make the choice. Right. No. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. <sighs> Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh, we'll be good. God, these are some stupid kids, guys. I can't. I just don't think I have the capacity to keep them all alive. Someone's going to have to take it for the team, man. Someone's got to stay behind. So, just so you know, fight the cannibal I was an expert marksman. <clears throat> third class, three years in a row. Ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is oh, cooked. Oh, shut up, dude, But if you bro. back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you like. Oh, no shut way. up, dude, bro. Yeah, it's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. 
<laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Now I'm going to go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. I mean, I'm kind of with her. She has to treat them like idiots. Me. It's kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that. I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? <laughs> You're asking the right guy because I fucked that up. Jason. Uh, just hopeful. It was... It was okay. Hey, out of ball. It'll shut him so, up. I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I mean, you see the deal? Don't be gross. No, 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 no. Hey, look, no sweat, okay? We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. I think that was a shot. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. There right, you go. Cuddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. There you go. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. Right. How does she know so much about Two guns? Things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Hold on. You know what? How about we actually view a real tutorial? I'm sorry to have to say there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Oh, that's real simple. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. <sighs> how am I gonna know? Oh, guys, when they say it like that, and I understand because I'm pretty sure until Dawn had moments like this, how am I gonna know when's exactly the right time? You know, this sounds like it's coming down to luck. Alright, just aim where the flashlight's pointing. Can I, like, move forward? No. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. She is standing in the firing range. All right, Nick. This time for real. Don't ever enter the firing range. I'm just trying. I'm an amateur gun safety kind of guy. You know, I have no idea what I'm talking about, guys, but. Uh, let's see. She wanted me to shoot these, right? All right. It says sometimes it's best not to shoot. What if I just don't shoot? Would something happen? Guys, look. Give it like three seconds. Is something gonna happen? No, I guess not. All right. Ooh. Nice shot. Okay, I want another watermelon. Lucky. I'm pointing right at it. How am I lucky? Actually, how much ammo do we have for this anyway? I kind of want to save everything we got for the cannibal monsters. Point to you, Nick. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. How many shells do we have? All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. <laughs> oh, okay, not with this <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? That is how you get someone shot. 
Oh, and you're such an idiot. would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Yes. What a pop sleep. Oh, my God. Not that I want to hear that, but. <sighs> Ooh, what's that, Jaggy? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter, Okay, pops. I get it. I get it. Okay, he kept it nice and short. I can appreciate that. Blam. We thought this was over? What the? Whoa. All right. Pop, pop, peanut butter, right. butter, pop. All right, stop your damn flexing. Guys, I'd be cautious even... Because we know there's a killer out here, right? I would be cautious just doing that in an area that's probably not designated for guns. I mean, it's a summer camp and they're hearing gunshots go off. Mm, bad combination. To me, guys, bad combination. What did it say? 815? This is it. Let the bodies hit the floor. It's quiet. It, it's about to pop off. Oh, it's about to start. I'm not ready. Okay. New idea. Party game. Uh, Truth or dare. Well, people, Here we go. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies? Truth or dare? I fucking but knew it. Ah, I freaking knew okay. it. Okay. House rules are someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. All right, Steve. I mean, keep we it in get your pants it. until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. You really dodged a bullet, huh? Hmm? Alright, here goes. I get to choose, don't I? Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, uh, um... I... Oh, they're gonna make a fool of her. I'm gonna make a fool of her. No, 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 no. I, I actually want to hear this. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Damn. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um, Careful where you point that. Uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Careful where you point that. Okay, okay. Um, Who's going to get it? Uh, I don't know. Ask Velma. She got a big mouth. Ask Velma. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Damn, Ryan. I hate to do this to you, my dude. Uh, I'm an open book. Yeah, I'm an open book. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? What does she mean? What were we doing? The hag of Hackett's Cory. Ha <laughs> ha! Just be honest. Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring. But if you must know, I needed some life advice. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, M. Um, okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode. And if you press that, no life advice about school and that's no fair i've i've already answered my question maybe we can help uh, i don't know you've all got your own shit going on besides i figured just the mention of the word school would cause jacob to hemorrhage or something <laughs> oh, dude, what the hell did i do <laughs> all righty who shall i pick well uh me and jacob haven't gotten a turn yet hey you can wait good point you know what? You got all this talking to do, Caitlin. Caitlin. 
What do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, uh oh, oh ho, ho. we gotta push our buttons. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever... Uh, I'm not done yet. Get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But it never went any further because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo, still love you, bud. <laughs> okay. Ah, that was pretty my juicy. Turn. That was good. <laughs> Emma. There. Oh, damn. Emma, so you have to kiss. They're gonna make me choose. Jacob? Or... Oh. Uh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> if he... Well, then. Um, uh, sorry. Nick, this is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I don't know, Mike. I choose Nick. Get, get stepped on, get stopped, Seriously? dude, bro. God damn, man. Things are cooking up. No way. Guys, what? Guys. What? Hey, where's the gun? Do not leave it near him. Guys! Look how pissed he's getting. I'm, uh, that's messed up. No, I mean, he's, he's not like dating her or anything. Thank you, Nick. I didn't want him to be like really upset like that. He's good. No, come on. You like kissing my girlfriend? Hey, way? calm down. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Man, he didn't deserve that. Jacob, I didn't want to. I didn't want to make him upset like that. Like, yeah, I thought he did a bunch of stupid stuff, but. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. Feel kind of guilty, guys. Oh man, so, that was just. Anybody want to play part That was brutal. What? Dude, bro, I'm sorry, dude. We got bigger problems to come worry about, though. Uh, fuck this. Oh. Oh, they, they got bored and thought we were just stupid kids and they're going home. Oh, is it time for Grandma already? Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. Oh. So, then, what more has been found? Uh, Grandma, please, um... You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return I'm sorry. nonetheless. Why is that, do you think? I'm sorry, Grandma. I can't help you without the cards. I know. I want them found. I'm trying. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. I'm trying, Grandma. I'm trying. I looked really hard. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Oh, I bet I know what that means if I actually had a tarot card. Oh, guys, I looked so hard. You know where it was in... Mr. H's, uh, secret lair, what, what, not the lair, underneath that floorboard under his chair. That's where the tarot card was. Where else could it be? <gasps> Guys, I looked really hard. I'm, I'm actually disappointed. Grandma's disappointed. Everything's just Stupid not well. Game. What are we, in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. <sighs> Great. Where the hell am I? Why did you wander? Why did you wander off alone? All right, well, guess what? 
your ass is going to be looking for tarot cards since you're out here all by yourself. But guys, I'm going to leave this episode right here for now. Surprisingly, no one dropped yet. I'm real happy about that. We're going to continue on really soon. Next episode, mark my words. Let me pause it because I'm scared something might happen. Next episode, something horrible is going to happen. I know I said a lot of things, especially about Dude Bro. But, um, and this isn't just the, me riding the guilt that just happened. Guys, I'm still going to try and get everyone out alive. But they're so, they're so stupid. Sometimes there's just a genuine lack of common sense. Like, like, um, Steve over there seeing something on the monitor, which was clearly a person. He, he just had a clear visual and that's something you want to bring up. And then you have, um, what's her face over here? Miss Kissy Kissy with Nick. How she didn't mention the blood on the backpack and all that. It's just things that you want to bring up, things that you want to talk about. There's a blatant disregard for safety and common sense among these kids. I don't care if they're 18, 16, 17, 10. There's a blatant disregard for safety. And that is something very difficult I'm going to have to deal with. But please comment down below what you think so far of the quarry. Leave a like and, you know, just again comment <laughs> guys i love hearing from you you know i love when we get to communicate after the episodes and then kind of theorize what happens next so again until then guys i'll see you in the next episode take it easy